Scientists have long joked about one of the rovers coming across a dinosaur bone as we explore Mars, which is supreme irony given that we'd be lucky to find even a trace of microbial life. But now Mars seems to be playing along with the joke on this episode of Mars Guy. As I reported last week, Perseverance did indeed find possible traces of microbial life, but nothing like the unequivocal evidence of a fossilized bone or even a leaf of some kind. Unfortunately, the chances of such discoveries are exceedingly low given what we know of the inhospitable conditions on Mars for most of its history. Even on Earth, the most habitable world we know of, it took billions of years just to make a leaf. Still, you never know what else Perseverance might find in its exploration of Jezero Crater. It's currently exploring a portion of the outer crater rim that the team thinks may contain megabreccia, chunks of rock dredged up by impact events. Late last week, it started its day especially early, just after sunrise, and captured a scene beautifully rendered here by Simeon Schmaus. The rover deck is bathed only in skylight, with Perseverance still in the shadow of the crater rim, which somehow makes it look especially vivid. And that shadow provides dramatic contrast against the sunlit terrain. Here's Mars Guy for scale. The mountainous and rugged terrain outside of Jezero Crater now includes the superimposed profile of the mountainous crater rim. Several saws later, following a short drive to a nearby location, the scene is transformed by the midday sunlight. The afternoon heating of the surface has spun up a dust devil under a wispy water ice cloud. A few minutes later, Perseverance shot a second tier of the same scene, which managed to catch the movement and change of the dust devil. The same drive ended in a location that revealed Yet another rock eroded into an odd shape, as pointed out by the wind sensor on the camera mast. My pareidolia transformed it into some kind of dinosaur bone during a momentary lapse of reason, maybe part of a tibia or femur bone etched and hollowed out by erosion. The view out front revealed even stranger rocks. These had me conjuring not a dinosaur, but some kind of alien maybe like the xenomorph from the Alien movies. But the zoomed-in shots from Mass Cam Z conjured something altogether different. My first thought was broccoli. It's really tough to say exactly why this collection of rocks has such unusual shapes. The largest pits may be the locations of former pieces of other rocks that were once embedded within a surrounding matrix of other material. This would make them conglomerates or breccias. Subsequent chemical and physical erosion, along with wind and sand and time, led to the shapes we see today. I'll go out on a limb, though, and say that they most assuredly are not fossilized anything. Just as I was finishing this episode, Perseverance had started work on a smaller and less weirdly shaped version of these rocks. After blowing away a patch of surface dust, it got a close-up look with the arm-mounted Watson camera. The views are unlike any we've seen before. Not a dinosaur bone, but most assuredly alien. 